As Australian Privacy Commissioner, my role is to promote a culture in which privacy is valued and respected. The Privacy Act supports this aim by providing me with a range of functions and compliance and investigation powers. I also have the role of providing guidance to businesses and government agencies, including the health community, to ensure that they understand their obligations under the Privacy Act. I work within the Office of the Australian Information Commissioner, or OAIC, which is an independent statutory agency that brings together the functions of information policy and the independent oversight of privacy protection and freedom of information. Our office is headed by the Australian Information Commissioner, who is assisted by the Freedom of Information Commissioner and myself as Privacy Commissioner. When Australia's e-health record system commenced on 1 July 2012, our office became the independent regulator of the privacy aspects of the system. To carry out this role, our office has been granted a range of functions and powers relating to the e-health record system. These include investigating complaints about the mishandling of personal information in an individual's e-health record, as well as other contraventions of the Personally Controlled Electronic Health Records Act. As well, the OIAC has the role of providing education and guidance about privacy for individuals, healthcare providers, the systems operator and other e-health system participants. I am pleased that the OIIC has been given the role of providing privacy oversight for the e-health system and that the legislative framework for the system includes some key privacy protections. Importantly, the choice about whether to have an e-health record rests with individuals, as it is an opt-in system. An individual will also have a level of control over who can access the e-health record and what kind of information will be stored on it. This level of control is important. People have told us that they consider their health information to be highly sensitive. People have also told us that they have a high level of trust in how their information is handled by healthcare providers. I am sure that healthcare provider organisations participating in the e-health record system are keen to ensure that they remain trusted by the individuals they deal with. Our aim is to ensure that the privacy protections given to individuals through the Privacy Act and the e-health system are complied with, while balancing this with the need for health service providers to share information where necessary for the provision of quality health care. With this aim in mind, I would encourage health care providers to educate themselves about the e-health system. Specifically, I urge them to know your obligations under the PCEHR Act, as there are serious penalties if you don't comply, understand that while there are new obligations for information stored on the e-health record system, you must continue to comply with your current legal obligations around patient confidentiality. Develop robust processes for handling e-health records and ensure that staff are adequately trained to follow them. Tell patients what information you intend to upload and access from their e-health record and explain what you will do with that information. Ensure that you do not collect more information from an e-health record than is necessary. Only collect, use and disclose information in a patient's e-health record for the limited and authorised purposes allowed under the e-health record system. And know how the e-health record system can be used in an emergency situation. The OAIC will continue to support healthcare providers with information and advice about privacy issues as the e-health system develops. I would encourage you to visit the e-health section on our website at www.oaic.gov.au to find out more about privacy and the e-health record system.